since I won one of these lovely trivia games, I get to lead our trivia or our game for this week. Um, so we are going to do a little appetizer for our intimacy week. Uh, we're talking all things intimacy in our episode this week. So just make sure you tune in on Wednesday of this week. Um, I am actually not doing trivia. I'm doing a fun, a, a different type of game. Um, so I am going to show you all uh, scrambled words on the screen. You have to unscramble the word, and uh, the person to unscramble the word wins that point. Okay. Y'all ready? Yeah. <laughs> and I will add a bonus point if you can tell, once you unscramble the word, if you can tell how it relates to in intimacy and mental health, then you get a bonus point. Y'all ready? Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Here is the first word. Happy hormones. Happy hormones. Damn, she got it. And how does that relate to intimacy and mental health, show? Happy hormones. So when you want to be intimate with somebody or when you are close with somebody, you, um, you your brain produces endorphins. They make you happy. And um, a part of mental health is endorphins make you happy. A lower amount of endorphins. Um, you, you, we do things to get our endorphins up to promote mental health. How about like exercise, sex, intimacy? Touching. Okay, okay, okay. So you got the bonus point. So two points for Auntie Shug here. Are y'all ready for the next one? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Okay. And here is the next one. Go. Physical intimacy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you got it. <laughs> if you can't read fast or you got any dyslexic tendencies, this is not the game. This is not the game. <laughs> I knew the last one was interesting. I was like, what letters are in that first word? <laughs> Bonus point. How does this relate to mental health? The same way. Physical intimacy increases endorphins. Um, and I mean, I don't know, it makes you happy. Especially like if you were to orgasm, it dries up your endorphins. It's just a happy drug. There we go. All right, y'all ready? There. And go. Trauma? trauma. No, that is not trauma. Yes. <laughs> it is trauma. <laughs> oh my God. I'm over here like that first word is mature. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, in there. I was like, mature what? <laughs> then I noticed it wasn't an E. When she said trauma, I said, sure ain't no E in there. Got that. Yo, Suge is killing y'all right now. I, I don't know how you're going to come back. <laughs> Listen, I'll be sure. I promise you, Suge, <laughs> I feel like you must have had a touch of dyslexia because you can unjumble these letters real fast. <laughs> Not a touch. <laughs> So, Shug, you have the option of accepting the bonus point and explain, explaining how this relates to in intimacy, or you can pass your bonus point to someone else. I will get a bonus point to Ashley because I know she don't like to lose, especially to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ash. Ash, you get the bonus point. Can you explain how trauma history has anything to do with intimacy? Like, what? You what's raggedy, the connection? <laughs> raggedy wage. <laughs> So yes, trauma history has a lot to do with intimacy because it can cause intimacy blocks. There could be, if there's a history of sexual trauma, it can cause a person to, a normal touch would would, call, would be a trigger, would be a trigger yeah. for that person. So they have to kind of process those past trauma incidents to get through and be able to have healthy intimacy. All right, that works, okay. So Ash got a point finally. Keish, where you at, Keish? You listen, ready? I listen. deserve that pity point. <laughs> you, you ready, Keish? It's been a long damn day. <laughs> Go. I thought the last word was Titanic. I quit. <laughs> nope. Titanic. I quit. <laughs> Titanic, though? I 
to God until I saw the why. I was like, Titanic, what are we talking about? All right, what's this one? <sighs> Listen, I'm oh, God. tomato, toenail, everything is wrong. Like, <laughs> everything is wrong. Not tomato and toenail. It's all <laughs> wrong right now. <laughs> that It doesn't say elimination. Elimination. No. It's not eliminate, no. It's something intimacy. It does start with an E, though. Emotional intimacy? There you go. Yeah, there there you go. Oh. Emotional Titanic. Okay, so... <laughs> I oh god i'm dying okay um so how did <laughs> you dead wrong for this game right here i feel slow as bricks right now. <laughs> it's funny how, how does this relate to mental health emotional intimacy is one of the various types of intimacy that involve validation of feelings acknowledgement of feelings and emotions being able to communicate your emotions openly being vulnerable and that's needed for a deeper bond. This one is not, it shouldn't be. It's hard. Yo, my hair, bro, my hair Yo. at this point. <laughs> it's just one word. <laughs> this is why they say perspectives are important because different people get different perspectives. The word better be said. All right, go. Letters. Divorce? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. <laughs> they don't be. Oh, there is a B. There is a B. Yeah. It's no R. It's no R anywhere. Deviant. Deviant. Uh -uh. I don't see it. Yo, it can I be a symptom of um it can be a symptom of trauma as well. Avoidance. There you go. Keisha's on the board. She's go on the board. There we go, Keish. Now that's because I know <laughs> trauma. That's why. That's what you said. And I don't like it when she said that. I was like, what? And so for your bonus point, how what does avoidance have to do with intimacy? Like how does that relate? What's the connection? Um, sometimes when you have a history, as we spoke about earlier, trauma history, there could be a symptom of avoidance. Um, and that avoidance could be a part of your intimate life, um, based based on your triggers from the past or based on things that you may not feel comfortable with, you may avoid trying to be intimate with someone, whether it's physically or emotionally. Um, avoidance can definitely happen. Yeah. This is the last one, for real. Y'all better go. Passionate, passionate, passionate. Come on, Ash. Somebody. Passion... Compassion. There you oh. go. Compassion. <laughs> I said passion camp. Go to hell. <laughs> what? You just be making up shit, Ashley. Because it was a C, A, and an M left. <laughs> no, but anyways, good job, Shug. And how does compassion relate to intimacy? You don't even need the bonus point. Hell, she won. <laughs> Let's do it for the people. When you have compassion for your partner, um, understanding, and it, I mean, it promotes emotional intimacy. All right. We lit. So Shug has seven. Auntie Shug is the auntie of the week. She has won the intimacy game. Hey. Four educated queens taking the lead. Hold their hands and they'll help you succeed. Lay your head back, relax, just like that. Now listen to learn and your problems will burn away. At the away. cookout, hey. you know, we got just what you need. At the cookout, your heart.